All right, so you guys know that since the expo last year, I've become interested in robotic lawnmowers, and so much so that I actually put together this sponsorship with Ambrosio where I installed their 4.0 Elite High Cut model on my neighbor's lawn to see not only how their tech works in the real world, but also to see what would happen to a St. Augustine lawn that is mowed perfectly every day for several weeks. Now today I'll be showing you how things went on install day and also mentioning some of the features that come with the 4.0 Elite High Cut from Ambrosio. Now I chose this mower because I wanted something that could handle tall cut St. Augustine grass like we have here in Florida. And this model, the High Cut model, can cut from 2.8 inches up to 3.7 inches, whereas their standard Elite model goes from 0.8 inches to 2.6. Now, the first thing I want to mention here that stood out to me is the build quality. This is an Italian-made robot and the Italian styling. It comes through both in the fit and the finish. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is the build quality. The fit and finish here is impeccable. Nice, thick, quality plastic. There's a nice finish on it. Everything fits tightly. The detent on everything is it's just crisp. And that's showing that Italian-made styling. Uh, also, I want to show it's articulated here in the middle like this. So when you go over bumps, it keeps the cut quality consistent. It's also got this bump feature right here. So if it hits anything, it'll go backwards and get out of the way. It's not gonna cut anything off. When you lift it up and look at the undercarriage here, here's the blades. You can see it's got all these little, little razor blades kind of on here. Easy to change, just need a little star wrench there. And uh, this has a 9.8 inch cut width. So we'll just call it 10 inches. So 10 inches cut width and nice beefy tires with good tread on them. So that way it can get over bumps or obstacles. This, this mower can actually handle up to a 25 degree slope. You don't wanna put it on a lawn that's completely slope, but it could handle that. Um, the one thing you wanna make sure of is before you buy any of these units, because they have a lot of choices, is to contact your dealer and make sure you do get the right one. But overall, I mean, you can just tell the build quality here is really, really good. So this will last a long time. It's also got an IP rating of five. We talked about IP ratings in our last, in our last video. This one has an IP rating of five and it does even have a moisture sensor on the top. So if it starts raining, when it's, uh, when it's mowing, it'll go back to base and wait till the rain stops and then it'll pick up where things left off. So what does this all cost? Well, the 4.0 Elite, either the high cut or the standard version, starts at $3,849, that's the MSRP. And then you get three battery options. There's a light battery, $499, medium, $599, and premium, $729. Now I chose the middle option, which is made for properties around three quarters of an acre. I opted for the middle option, but since my neighbor's lawn is only 5,000 square feet total, I could have gotten away with the first one. So overall though, with what I have with my setup here and what you're seeing in this video, we're looking at $4,448 for the unit and the battery. Now it's highly recommended that this unit be installed by a dealer. You can DIY it, but they really recommend you work with a dealer. And so that's what I did. GL Robotics is the Southeast distributor for Ambrosio and they handled the install for me. There is a ground wire needed with this unit and they had a cable layer that made that job quick and easy. My neighbor's entire lot's about a quarter of an acre and they had the entire property and house outlined in a little over just 30 minutes. Now, Greg got everything registered and programmed in about an hour and a half after we were up and running. He set all the working profiles, which are essentially the zones or areas that the mower will cover and at what times. For this lawn, we only needed four zones and I have it cutting every zone every day, starting in the later morning and finishing sometime around 2 p.m. The way I have it set up now takes about five hours for the entire lawn to get mowed. You can also manually drive the mower right from the app if you wanna have a little fun and show off for your friends. Okay, we're gonna talk about the wireless functions, but see actually right here, see how it's going in a circle? This is one of the functions that it does when it senses an area where the grass is a lot thicker, it does this loop or this circle to make sure that it gets it all cut up and ground up well. So that's something, that's just something that's programmed into it automatically to do. But what I really wanted to see was what kind of wireless function we had or how could I control this from far away. And what I realized is two things. The first one is that you can, you can dial directly into it through Bluetooth and talk to it that way, which is a little bit slow to connect, but it works. Uh, you can also obviously use the screen in the back, but then you could also configure here what they call configure connect module. So when you do that, that sets up your geofence, which basically says if it leaves that geofence or that area, that's when an alert comes to you that you know it's it's been taken away or whatever, which I know theft is a question about these, but I don't know. I mean, 
it is what it is, mode during the day, I guess. The other thing is now what I should be able to do that I've configured that connect module is I should be able to control the robot or give it commands from anywhere. So if I'm up the street, down the road, somewhere else, I can tell it do a border cut, do this or that. And what I realized though is, is it doesn't work on wireless like the wireless off my house. I thought that it would do that like other devices I have. You connect the wireless to your phone in the app, that same wireless is connected to the unit and it works. It doesn't do that. This works off cellular networks. I don't know if that's RTK or not, but it's somehow it's getting free cellular service in order for me to talk to it through the app here. The challenge is at my house here, we have terrible cell service. I don't care if it's Verizon or if it's AT&T or if it's T-Mobile, it's weak. And so I can't always dial into it. So that's something to think about here is that it doesn't necessarily run off the cloud like I would think. It's running off of whatever free cellular networks it can get and next to the house and stuff, sometimes it's blocked. But either way, it does work sometimes. And so right now I'm gonna see if it'll work. So from the actual app now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to do a border cut and we'll see uh, if it executes that command. Border cut, okay, so there we go. Let's see what it does. So that time it did, it was able to get a cellular network connection and I'm not on Bluetooth. I don't have the Bluetooth hooked up here. It's definitely not cutting right now. So it's turned the blades off. Okay, now it's cutting. The guide wire runs right along the house here and then there's another one on this side right here. So the complete outside of the property is outlined and then we have an outline all the way across here. All right, so this would be border. So let's see if it sticks with the border. I'm feeling pretty optimistic that that's what it's gonna do. Oh no, I think it's going home. Back it up, back it up. Yep, it just kissed home, okay. All right, so you kissed your home base. Now you gotta do a border cut, let's see. Again, I'm gonna have a whole nother video that goes into all of this and how I talk about training a puppy, which we can talk about that now. It looks like it's doing what I told it. So it's going around the border, but the but it's not the uh, the blades aren't running. So I don't know if it's got to set its, maybe it considers the border the outside, I don't know, we'll see. Come on, come on. I guess while we're here, another question people ask is what did the guide wire do? You can see there's no dead spot or anything, it's buried. You might be able to see a little bit. No damage that way. That's because they had that cable layer I talked about. Okay, so I thought it was gonna do a border cut, but it doesn't. It says on here, go to area. So it might be trying to do its normal cut that we have set up. This is obviously my error. So I was gonna try to show you guys how that worked, but it doesn't seem like uh, that's gonna happen. Oh, we just got a notification. Wait a minute. I don't know if you heard that. I got a doo doo doo. Okay, now we're cutting. Yeah, it's just cutting this side. It's just cutting this area, this section. Okay, well, it didn't listen to me when I told it to do a border cut, just like a puppy. My fault, 100%, but this does show when you get one of these things, it's not plug and play, right? I, I talk about these as for the person that doesn't want to deal with mowing the lawn or can't keep up with mowing the lawn, but I can tell you it seems like there's going to be quite a bit of work you got to do in the beginning to get it trained properly and to train yourself before it becomes hands-off. So I'm sure, these, I'm sure these connections work great, it's just my error. So we'll talk about those in the comments below. Now there will be a lot of you that might ask, what about that boundary wire technology versus some of the newer tech that you see coming out these days? And the way I look at it is, is that boundary wire technology is proven to work. It's tried and true and all the bugs have been worked out of it. Now sure, you're gonna have pinch spots or hangups here and there. And those will have to be worked through. Or you might have slight adjustments to make on the positioning of the docking station, stuff like that. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you the results of this lawn after it's been mowed every single day as well as some of the things that we've had to go through to make it work perfectly. All right, y'all, real quick, in that last clip, you could hear in the background some loud noises. What that was was somebody was actually using a pressure washer five houses away. It wasn't this. So this unit is super quiet. You could run it all night and not disturb the neighbors. I'll show you just how quiet it actually runs. But for now, I really do want to reiterate that this is primarily a dealer installed technology. So let them install the boundary wire for you so you don't have to mess with it. Using the dealer is gonna cut down on your learning curve greatly overall and give you a unit that works right from the start with minimal changes needed. For me, I'm not really interested in knowing how to install the mower anyway. I'm more interested in seeing how healthy a lawn can get from frequent mowing. Plus, there is a six-year warranty on the electronic components besides the battery, but with that, you have to keep up with the yearly one-time-a-year maintenance, cleaning, and inspection schedule that your dealer can perform for you. I'll give you some more details on the warranty in the description below. Now, I know there are quite a few of you out there that you actually love taking care of your lawn, but you just can't keep up with the mowing. And you've told me that you're looking at robotic technology and considering it. 
So I'll say if you're looking for a well-made, good-looking mower that works on tried and true technology and comes with the comfort of knowing that you don't have to mess with any of the installation, then the Ambrosio Elite 4.0 Standard or High Cut for sure should be in your consideration set. Now, I'm gonna leave you a link below where you can input your information if you do wanna to talk to a dealer. They have a bunch of other models too, and speaking with a dealer can ensure you get the right one for your situation. Also, if any of you have been watching or interested in becoming an Ambrosio dealer, they have territories open, and you can also input your information on that same page that I'll link, and some will reach out to you about that as well. Okay, y'all, quick wrap up to a wrap up. The first thing is, make sure you do subscribe and stay tuned for the next video, because that's where I'm gonna show you all the things I had to go through to train this puppy, right? Because it's not a perfect thing. And you've even seen, we've shown some of the challenges we've had already in this video. That doesn't mean it's a bad unit. It just means that's the expectation you have to set with any of these, right? So stay tuned for that. And then number two, obviously I do wanna see what is this St. Augustine grass lawn gonna look like when it's been cut every single day for several weeks. With that, I'm also gonna ask the folks from Ambrosio to help us in the comments by answering questions because I can't do everything in one video, especially when this is the first robot I've ever installed, right? And I'm just telling you what I think about it and what I notice about it and that type of stuff. There's a lot of questions I don't know how to answer. So we'll, we'll work on those in the comments below and create a discussion because that's what they're for. Uh oh, look at that, obviously. Something going on that I need to adjust. So with that, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Hope you guys got a little something out of it. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the lawn.